<sighs> oh my god, first the beard, now the hair. He's just going bold. Ah. I needed a haircut, man. Okay, let's be real. I just, I don't like having long hair. It just bothers me so much. And then I get this haircut and it's, it's, it wasn't the way it was now. I absolutely got d demolished by the barber. I asked for something completely different and they gave me this and I thought, okay, great. <laughs> you know when you're there and you're like, does it look good? You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you leave and you're like, <laughs> yeah, one of those moments. <laughs> but regardless, I need a haircut, man. And uh, yeah, yeah. So I know I look a bit weird. Get over it. So today we are looking at Dusk Noir. I think I've covered this card uh, quite some time ago. Um, but I thought, hang on, this card has some sort of utility right now, which is very interesting. It has Grim Marking, which is basically a built-in spell tag. Um, and Psych Up, which is similar to Metagross's attack. 60 plus 60 if you um, stay in the active and it limits at 120 um, onwards, right? I thought, hang on, this is pretty solid now. If you've got the likes of Horror Energy and Spell Tag, you're putting a lot of damage on the board. And with Dusk Skull obviously being able to evolve the turn you put it down, we're discarding three cards, albeit. It's not that hard to get going, all things considered. So it's a single energy attacking card. It's got a lot of utility with the damage it puts into play and on the board. And overall, is pretty solid altogether. So um, yeah, I actually really wanted to look into it and check it out and see how it goes. And with my experience so far, it's been pretty good. So uh, we're gonna be playing this one today and uh, hopefully no misplays. <laughs> Are you looking for Pokemon codes? If so, please check out pdcgostore.com and use the code FTW for 5% off at checkout. What a deal. They always have sales, of course, which is great uh, for when you're looking around and trying to snack some packs up to build that collection that you're looking for. If you do have the finances and you are able to do so, please do visit ptcgostore.com to grab yourself some codes. With that all said, though, of course, please do enjoy the video. All right, so I'm getting some sort of strange deck by the looks of it. I mean, I have been um, playing a... Um, Kind of like a meta, yeah, I've been playing a meta deck recently because I've qualified for the Players' Cup, which is awesome. Um, and I've got a deck that um, I've made my own variant on and I'm just testing it out. And it's looking pretty well, looking pretty good. It's working in the way I'd like it to. And um, so I'm working on that one. And I've been coming up against a lot of top tier decks on the ladder as a result because I've won a lot of games in a row, won like 10 games in a row with it. And then I just started coming up against, you know, the usual meta stuff. So hopefully we hope we come up against something meta, but if not, it's going to be a bit out of the blue. Um, with that, it's looking like a Rayquaza deck, which is definitely out of the blue. It's very outdated, to say the least. Okay, Rayquaza Willaboom. I mean, I get, yeah, I get that. I legit get that. But, <laughs> but, all right, I'm going to have to do this. This is going to be a harsh discard, actually. I really don't want to, but this actually opens up a nice Dusk Noir play next turn. And we will pow pad, not now, but yeah. Okay, as long as they don't KO us, which I really doubt if this is Ray. It doesn't look like a turbo variant. It obviously is Rillaboom. So the odds of them getting a KO on me this turn are probably quite slim. I mean, when it comes to playing these kind of decks, I have no experience playing Rillaboom Wayquaza. I don't know what works with it, what doesn't what I can take advantage of. So it's going to be a bit of a gamble. I'm going to have to kind of try and play my way through it as much as I can. No misplays? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. However, next turn. Ah, oh, it looks like they've got nothing. Good. Okay, great. Great, great, great stuff. Okay, awesome. So let's throw Marnie back into the deck here. And we are not unfortunately we unfortunately we are not getting a KO here, which is a shame. But you know what? That's that's fine. Let's throw you here. Put that there. Do this. I know I'm playing my hand down, but it's it's okay, sure. <laughs> Alright, hopefully they come up against something different. Although all things considered, that would have been a pretty um pretty fun matchup to play against, actually, but either way. They had a rough start, so uh, play to them. Um okay. Now, what, what, yeah, so I know I haven't done streaming recently and I haven't uploaded as regularly as I used to. Um, there's, 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 there's two main reasons for that, if you are interested. If not, enjoy my misplays. <laughs> um, well, the, the, one of the reasons would be that with my music side of work, um, I've had someone approach me, I can't obviously go into too much, and ask for me to engineer their stuff, their music, so I've been doing a lot of engineering. Um, which is really a great opportunity for me to work in the music industry. So I've been doing that. Um, and on top of that, 
I also have been struggling with what seems to be, and I really want to emphasize seems to be, an autoimmune issue. I'm not sure yet, but it appears to be that. And that, that causes a lot of issues. But uh, let's let's play this turn before I get into that. Now, Picaron. Okay. I don't see a Picaron attack next turn. Obviously, they're probably going to go to Electrify, which gives us a turn to... Actually, we could disable Electrify. We can do that, as long as we get an energy. So, it's going to be aggressive, but it, it, it will always be aggressive. Let's save at least the Cynthia and Caitlyn. Oh, that's a bit, that's a bit weird, isn't it? I was going to ditch whatever we draw, but Power Pad is kind of good um, in this. But, uh, you know, well... It's really not necessary. The great catcher, it's good, but we're gonna we're gonna be playing a research here, so it really isn't the end of the world. All things considered. So let's do that. And let's play our research. Guarantee the Cynthia and Caitlin top deck, which is nice. Oh wait, no, we don't. <laughs> Whatever, Sean. Whatever you say. We'll bench that just for the sake of having something to attack with if you do struggle next turn, which I doubt, but just in case. And that for the retreat. Disable. Let's disable electrify here and ensure that they can't go for that route of acceleration, which is good. It's a nice start. I like the I like having the disable attack. It's really solid and it's very easy to get out turn one going second. I really, really like that um, with this deck. Obviously you don't get this with stage two, so. Now, they can go for, oh, this is this was my concern. This was my concern. They have just bolted two electro powers just to, to get me. Do you know what? I'm not complaining. I've still slowed you down. <laughs> and you are going to activate the spell tag and this. So it's really not the end of the world. But I, yeah, that's why I benched the, 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 the Night League. Just, just in case. And if they marlied me and I had nothing in hand, it would just be trouble. Don't want that. Probably getting a Coco, right? Yeah, in anticipation. So, obviously their bolt on thing has failed. But, uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely a KO. Um, right, well, I'm happy they used up those, those those Electro Power resources because we actually have 160 HP. Electro Power allowed them to, obviously, um, take us out in one shot with a full Blitz. So if they, you know, use up their Electro Powers, that's, you know, less likely, therefore, to actually take us out in one shot when we are Dust Noirs and we're out. So that's a good thing for us. So it's, it's, it's kind of like, I don't want it going down, but you know what? It's not the end of the world. But yes, on the autoimmune issue, it seems to be a, a, a gut autoimmune issue. So I get very bloated at times. I feel very, I just feel very uncomfortable. And it's really not nice. Um, but with that said, we're here. We're moving. I'm feeling all right. I think a lot of it's dietary. Let's decide what we um, put on the damage, go what damage goes where. I think we just build up the Picaron. I think that's the way to go. Um... Yeah, so I mean, I'm, in, I'm in trying to sort out my diet and stuff and figure out what works, what doesn't. So that's been taking a bit of time and it's just, it just takes a lot of energy. And there's a lot of times where I'm sitting there going, I really can't record because it just feels awful. Um, right. But I am, I am fine. I'm, I'm speaking to my doctor and stuff. I'm okay, so don't worry. <laughs> Do I want to primate wisdom now? No, I want to get as much cards as possible here. I need to bench some stuff. There we go. That's much more like it. Let's save. Let's save the research. Oh, no, I did things in the wrong order. Oh, no. Okay, this is bad. <laughs> I was meant to save... The oh, God, Sean, what are you doing? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing, man. Oh, bro. Okay, that, that quick ball has to stay. That's a route to a Dedenne. I have to kind of pick up... Clean up my own mess. Clean up my own mess there. Do I mysterious treasure? Do I get Dedenne now? I don't think I need to. I think I'm just going to go for, like, an um, avoid tentacles here. They haven't got... A, I haven't got stadium play unless they play one of Marshadow, then they haven't got a chance to bench their aura, so they haven't got that free retreat effectively speaking. So that seems like a good time to use something like a Void Tentacles. Not good though, we don't want that. We don't know, we don't like it. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, with the autoimmune stuff, there's, there's been a few times where I'm sitting there like, I want to record, I want to stream, but I just, uh, I, I just don't feel good. It doesn't feel good. It would definitely interrupt everything. Now I'm feeling okay, I'm still a bit inflamed, but I'm feeling all right. Um, so yeah, that that's kind of the reason. And if if you did if you did wonder, huh? How are they? Unless they play a switch, they're not really getting out of this. 
So they did get the Kuzma and Hala, so they actually can go for a full blitz here quite easily with a Thunder Mountain. Or an energy switch, fair play. Fair play, mate, fair play. This is gonna be problematic. We, 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 it's been too slow for us. We've gone way too slowly. We need to get a Dustmore out ASAP and it just ain't happening now. Oh, this is bad. Okay, so we know a Tag Bolt isn't coming. We know that. So if we disable, we can disable attack, ta um, sorry, full Blitz, but they can easily just retreat and go for, yeah, Tandem Shock, which is not a good thing in the slightest. Let's Dedene here. And we need to get Mew as well. So if I just... Because full Blitz will definitely come eventually and it's not going to be good. Ow, that feels bad. Okay, sure, we'll get rid of you, Kaylee and Cynthia. Sure thing. Shrine. What's our Rod saying? We have one more Rod left in deck, so I can be a bit aggressive with that. Let's just get a Mew down, man. Let's just do that. Let's just do that. Let's just make sure we're not that much at risk. I might have to sacrifice this around Guru because I really need to get a... Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to pass up a new Ranguru. I could disable, but they're just going to take it out and it's not good. They can boss his orders though. And I'm really hoping they don't, but I'd rather give him this and go down that route for now. And have the Dusk Noir out. It's really about the Dusk Noir. And if they just take out the Guru, we have another one we can, we can put down. So it's better that than them taking a prize on my Dusk Globs. So I'd rather him that. Yeah, they're taking a prize at the end of the day, regardless. So yeah. Okay. It's, it's just a lesser or two evils here. Bit of a shame, but that's that. And this deck's only as good as. Well, Dusk, dusk Noir. We need Dusk Noir. <laughs> Yeah, I know. There goes the sure, sure. Now they can place the Zebra Aura and they could have easily gone for the Tandem Shock. So I think I made the right move because they could have just taken this Dusk Cloth out like it's nobody's business. I did not want that. Not in the slightest. So if they don't have the boss's orders, we are definitely looking better. Still not good, but better. Alright, they're going for that route. Please don't have a boss's orders. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, you're a Dusk Swan! No, no, no! You're coming to a Dusk Swan! Oh! Die! <laughs> Cry out loud. Still not bad. We have the Mysterious Treasure, but Jesus. Okay. There it is. 250 points. Okay. Surely, 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 boy! What are we doing with this? What are we doing here? I don't want to get with Quick Ball, but I kind of have to. There's no point in playing it. Finally, three prices down, we get a dust more out. That is bad start. That is yikes. An absolute yikes from me. All right. Let's see what this gives us. Spell tag. Cool. Cool. I'm not sure this horror energy makes anything particularly relevant. Because 60, 90, oh, it kind of does actually. It allows us to get a KO on the bolt on if we, if we want to. So let's just do that. All right, psych up. Uh, I wish Shrine was in play a bit more because it'd be a lot easier to really take take advantage of this Grim Marking and Spell Tag. Because it really adds up then. Really, really adds up and works. But this shaky start is not good. And I think we prized the Dusk Gold as well. Which is not a good thing. Like, I'd love right now to have another, another Dusk Gold down. We need another Dusk Gold down, but we don't. If this thing goes down, which it probably will, they just got to do a Tandem Shock, then it's, it's trouble. It is trouble. We can full blitz. No KO. It's interesting to see how they're going to approach this. Because if they attack me the bolt hunt as well, problems. They can they can lose the bolt hunt. So it's deciding what's what's beneficial there. So I, to be fair, if I was on his side of the field, I'd just retreat to the to the right you and just go for a tandem shot, really. Because you get the um, the KO without losing the bolt hunt necessarily. Speak. <laughs> <laughs> what? Excuse me? Oh, this is bad. Free Dedenes! Oh my god, what 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 Pikarom is this? It's definitely different than what I've seen usually. It seems more like an older version. With the stuff updated. I mean fair play, mate. Pikarom's best tech. 
Oh, 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 man. Pikarom, yikes. Yikes. Ah. Oh. Screw it. <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> Let's go for Romani. I, I, don't, I don't know if there's any salvation of this. Let's be real, man. Definitely way too late when it comes to the setup. It's not good in the slightest. Let's save that, and I'm going to be greedy here. I mean, uh, I don't care. <laughs> I've lost all motivation. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go for another one. That was not a feel-good start. Okay, so we want Dust Skulls out by the dozen, even though there's only four. But we need loads of Dust Skulls out. We need that. Going first is actually good because we can we can do the whole Dust Skull evolution thing and then get Dust Skull out quicker. So that's also pretty solid. We do very much thin our hand down with that move, but it's fine. So I think we're I think we're good. What we're up against really is the the question we need to beg. I'm going to guess another Pikaron. which should be interesting to say the least. No toxicity. Okay, that's definitely different. Um, all right. What am I discarding here? Because I'm going to have to discard three more cards on top. And the, I think the Air Balloon has to be the most... Obviously, the Marnie's the most valuable. But I think Air Balloon comes second, uh, guaranteeing our retreat from the Mew. Although, really, it's not. We can definitely get another Air Balloon out and retreat. Um, the Quick Ball is pretty valuable. Everything is valuable, but by what degree is... You know... I think the air balloon is the least valuable one here, so let's just get you. I could, in fact, to really go ham here. I could really go ham. Okay, this is a bit risky because I'm losing the spell tag here, but I'm doing this, man. We need... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We definitely need... Unless I just ditch the pad. Yeah, I think that's better. And just a Dene. Like, it's it's a bit greedy, but I don't think... Yeah, there's obviously not going to be a spread deck. So, or... or I, I doubt a Pikaron will be in here, should I say. I think that's better for us. Right now. If we evolve this and ditch the Guru. Losing a spell tag, but that's fine. And energy. We get... See that? Big brain! Big brain! See? Then we draw a card next turn. We've got Dustmore out. And we have a Dusk God on the bench. For safety. Hey, there we go. See, I'm thinking. I'm using this big, big boy. Ah, big brain. Now, I actually haven't come up against too many toxicity decks in my time. So I don't know what to expect. But I'm expecting a Trubbish. <laughs> to say the least. I think the one thing that really makes this deck, although this deck's definitely good, one thing that definitely holds it is it is evolution based. And uh, let's be real. Evolution's not in a good spot right now. Unless you're a bloody good VMAX. <laughs> then you're talking business. Like a, a Dragapult or, or something. Or like I, I, I think, for example, Center Scorch would be really good. Ditching your Anguru doesn't feel good. But, because obviously it allows us to, to preserve stuff of our research, like our rare candies and stuff. But, we, we, need, we need to attack, man. We need to attack. All right. Hopefully, we get a way to retreat here. Because I, I, I kind of ditched the balloon thinking we should be okay. All right. We're fine. Yeah, we lose the energy, but it's not the end of the world. So, let's, let's do that. Do I attach that now in case they Marnie me? Yes. I'm expecting a Marnie. All things considered. There we are. All right. Now, the damage of the attack is just, just subpar. It's terrible. Terrible. Once you get to 120, you're talking a bit... Yeah, 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 you're really getting up there. But it really becomes great when the damage goes across. I mean, if they if you hit a side cup for 120 and then they hit into you and you go down, that's eight damage counters going back. That's 180. Um, sorry, that's 200, sorry. And then plus that, 220 damage altogether. Um, so although you're going down... Ah, the bloody... Kogus, why is it Kogus? Ah, Kogus trap. Ah, uh, I was testing this deck out earlier and Kogus trap came into play. And it's just a nuisance. <laughs> so many Kogus traps on the ladder, man. Oh, Lord. It is just an absolute nuisance. <laughs> oh, I hate special conditions. Oh, I know. Right, the person who likes playing special condition decks hates it so much. <laughs> I ain't playing against it, okay? Leave me out. 
Leave me out of it. Leave me out of it. But they can't attack unless they get Thunder Mountain, which I would anticipate they probably do have. If not, we are lucky. We are lucky. Because it gives us another turn, at least, to, to, to get things going. Because, yikes. <laughs> yikes right now. All right, so they're going to retreat. Fair play. No? No? Okay, I'll go back again. I want to get out of this confusion somehow. And the thing is, I'm an idiot. I didn't play Switch in this deck. What did they ditch? Uh, Mew, okay. Um, yeah, oh, they're probably trying to figure out whether or not that actually stops my uh, spell attack and stuff. Um, yeah, we don't really play Switch. I decided to go for something like a air balloon and, and, and U-turn board and stuff. I mean, let's be real, I did not anticipate hitting in special special, special conditions. But, yeah, that's being ignorant to the format, right? Because toxicity does exist. Marnie, please give me something to retreat with or something. I don't know. I mean, is that really good right now? This, I think... I think we played a shrine here. We could put things in range. Heads! Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Take me out now, boy. Go on. Take me out. See ya. Yeah. Go on. Get. Yeah. Um, right. So that's 150. That's 180. I expect... St I still expect to fund the mountain. Uh, I don't expect this shrine to last. Now you might be saying, hey, sure, my place shrine with the Dene. It's just... I think the benefit of... Um, you know, just kind of like lowering the HP over time of like big tag teams and Pika Rom and stuff like that and things you see like the Denes and stuff really just gives you options to use your grim marking and really figure out where you want it to go. So here, 120, we need to bring him down to 60 so we get the KO here. So obviously we need to put six damage counters on them. All right, there we go. One, two. And then if we just, we could put this Toxicity in, in... yeah, we could do that. We have to now pick and choose our prizes here, effectively speaking. Or we go for the double here, the Zebra Aura and the Dene. And I think if Shrine stays out, I think the Zebra Aura and the Dene is the way to go. So I'm going to reduce that. There we go. And Shrine will come. Oh, wait, I forgot about Shrine. Oh, wait, no. Toxicity doesn't get hit by Shrine. <laughs> there we go. And this Mew could actually be a good utility as well, being able to do put free damage counters. If we're over, like, a few damage counters short, Mew just comes in and, and just absolutely does business. So, all right, let's Ordinary Rod here and recover... I'm actually going to double Ordinary Rod here, I think. Just to get as much back into the deck as possible. We're getting a Ranguru back as well, which looks pretty solid. So that's good. And we can now Marnie and hopefully hit some stuffs. Not necessarily. That is a good card to have right now. But I also need to play this Mysterious Treasure and also play a Rare Candy. I think every other card in hand is too valuable because we're going to have a Dusk out next turn. So, yeah, let's do that for now. Let's take this out. There we go. Solid stuff. There we go. There we go. Much better. See, now we've got a bit of consistency moving. We've got that. We've got that engine going. Look at that. Yeah. I, that, that was not pleasant, was it? <laughs> See, that's nicer. That's a lot nicer. I'm happy with that. Shrine doing its thing. This is right. So, yeah, I think so long as the shrine stays out, I think we're good. I honestly think we're good. I think we could really just focus these two and then and finish the game that way. Uh, effectively, it's taking four prizes when I only need three. Um, but the damage is really falling down to an extent where, like, the, the collective damage of Zebra Aura and Dene GX right now, if I'm correct, are nowhere near. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 130 plus 140, that's 270. So, th yeah. The collective HP of these two is less than the total of that, which is a pure, perfect example of power creep, right? <laughs> I mean, if you ever want evidence of power creep, is that... No, obviously, these two are... Um, uh, <laughs> they're damaged, so yes. And you are talking about a low HP to the NGX, so yeah. Nah. All right. But hit him on 20 here, which is nice. So we're definitely putting pressure there. So if we can't, we have to, we just take out the Trostricity. But we're looking like we're in a really good spot. And I'm probably going to play this Caitlyn and Cynthia to um, just keep the hand going. I don't need Tamani necessarily. 
I'd rather build up my hand for now. Oh, they are kind of going ham, you know. Kind of going ham, mate. Okay. We just need to keep the shrine inactive as much as possible. I'm hoping they kind of just prized their... Um, if they, yeah, if they, if they, <laughs> if they price it from the mountain, it's trouble for them, big time. That, that's a game changer right there. Now they can retreat, and they can go for poison jab. You can do that, and I expect that. So I think leaving this in the active, not attacking, is a bad move. Yeah, you're going for a poison jab, 100%. Unless you go for a vo full voltage, which is really not a good idea. Oh, you minded me! Ah, ah, what? Okay. Uh, man, that's really not a good hand. I'm glad that they're not really getting us. They're not carrying us next time. <laughs> that is not a good hand. <laughs> and now that rare candy's on the bottom of the deck. Ah. Uh. All right, Sean. Stop doing the gloom. What are you gonna do, mate? Hmm. It seems like the players retreat in Poison Jab, but we're going to be hitting 120. They, the moment they KO us, it's just the moment we just go absolutely nuts. But the, the damage going around and stuff, it seems good. Now, they do take 220 damage, actually, so we're effectively hitting 140 because they're hitting into us with the horror energy if they decide to do that. But what are you going to do, mate? Okay. I need to sneeze. There's a sneeze coming. There's this this is Sniff. Yeah. Another Electro Power. Okay, how much? That's two, right? You've done two. That's a, that's a, that's a lot of damage now. You're, you're creeping up. You're creeping up with your damage. It's not nice. Oh. Okay. Let me hit an 80. All right. I mean, all right. All right. Now, they've used their Coco, so this person really doesn't have much options to get the toxicity going faster, which is really good for us, so I'm happy with that, at least. Not happy with you going down, but, you know, Vegas can't be choosers. All right, nice. A boss's orders is amazing for us right now. Oh, I really don't want to... I, don't, I, I, want, to, I want to evolve this Dust Skull, but I don't want to get rid of anything else here. Let's increase the other of our top decks here, but we're not going to go for that route yet. We're just going to go for that for now. Man, the hand before was so much better. All right, we will boss his orders and go. We, we can guarantee the KO on the Zebra Aura or we can let it build up. We can definitely KO a Dedene. So if we just let the Zebra Aura build up. Oh no, Dedene's closer. Dedene's closer to KO, which means our spell tag is going to be a lot more utilized on a Dedene. So I think, yeah, we, we promote the Zebra Aura and get the KO on that because we're hitting exactly. 120 plus 10 for shrine, so that's good. And we still have the Mew. And we still have the Mew. Lots of maths today. <laughs> Let's make the minutes. Yeah. There we go. There we go. All right. So now it's just a matter of taking down the uh, the sorry the um, the Dene. Ah, we still have Nightcap as well. This is yeah. We are so far ahead right here. So far ahead right now. And it can still fund the mountain and, you know, hit into us and get a KO. But I think that really puts us in an okay spot. I think 80 on that. Um, we'll bring it down to 30, which Mew would come in and just do it. So if they, <laughs> even if they, even if they get everything, they can literally just go and, and yeah, drop a fund the mountain, get a KO on me nice and easily. I still win so long as I find an energy. And we've got a Dedenne left as well, so. I think, do you know what, yeah. I'm proud of myself. I think I played that okay. I think I did a decent job. All things considered. It's just whether or not they KO me. <laughs> all, the, all the fact that, that, that whether or not this person's prized from the mountain, which really looks like it. Or they're not playing it, to which I'd say, what? <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, to Dene. Oh, you're digging. Oh, you're digging. Okay, Chief. Go on, then. Play it. Go on, jump it. Jump the mountain, man. Go on. Yup. Oh, okay, no. Alright. Ah, confusion again. But, uh, Even if we get heads on, heads on this confusion. Oh, no, we heads on this confusion. We're in trouble. 
Yikes. Okay, this hand looks like it's got a lot to go with it, but actually it does. I need to save a bench spot for the Dene. I also... Oh, too late. <laughs> huh. I think the smart play here would be to just go for the side cup and see if we hit heads. That's an ouch. Oh, at least we know for sure, though, that we're getting KO'd coming into our turn here. So, oh, wait, that's a bad thing. Yeah, that's a bad thing. If you KO me, that is... You You made the wrong decision. Oh, you made the wrong decision. You should not have done that. You should have just passed, okay? Because now I'm just going to unleash myself on that to 10. I was actually in a bit of trouble there, actually. All things considered, I was in a pretty fair, fair bit of trouble. Look, we've won. <laughs> should not have hit me. You should not have done that. That has cost you the game. Oh, thank God. At least I didn't make a bad miss. <laughs> I probably made a bad misplay. But um, <laughs> now that person just made me look great. <laughs> no, we, we all have those moments where we, we don't really take those things into account. I have them every day. So, yeah, I'm not going to be too harsh. Um, <laughs> right, let's go to the list. Okay, okay, here it is. Pretty straightforward. It's a good bit of fun to play. And you can definitely be a bit cheeky with it if you want to. It's definitely got a lot of good characteristics with it. I'd say with this ability, though, it's a bit too harsh. All things considered, there's a lot of times where you don't want to discard, but I, I think, you know, there maybe have been times where I should have done it and, I've, um, and I didn't, and it, it, I, I kind of paid the price for that. I think in that last game, the, the last turn there, I think I did pay the price for not doing that. Um, but nonetheless, he kind of walked into that. So we managed to grab the win there. Speed is everything in this deck. You really need to keep up with the format. And it, obviously, one of the main reasons why stage twos don't work is because it's just too slow now, especially if turn one support is gone. It's just you can't really get the setup that you're looking for and you can't get the follow up so quickly. So it's just stage twos are just really not the way to go. But if you want to play stage twos, this is definitely one you want to look at because that, that little, little cheeky spirit born evolution ability allows you to keep up. And that's really, really good. Um, and it, of course, it has a lot of utility to it as well for its abilities and use of spell tag and horror energy. So it's got a lot of good stuff on paper. It's just getting it to the practical element. How are we going to get the best out of it? So if you have any ideas, then definitely let me know. That would be really awesome. But with that said, of course, do leave a like if you did enjoy. And please do subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>